my name is Hannah. So, my university, the University of Stirling, asked me if um, I would have a go at filming a little vegan recipe for you. So I thought what better to do, considering my last video on my channel, Smuggish Vlogs, was a sort of budget vegan shoe, food shoes? Not shoes, food on a budget video. I thought what better to do than a nice hearty warm soup because I don't know about you but if it's cold and I've been at uni all day or I've, I've been busy all day if I have some soup bubbling away on the stove or in Tupperware in the fridge that I can just microwave and have with some toast or something that's just that's just amazing so um I just want to address the elephant in the room to you, to, to make this soup, I've got a root vegetable medley from Tesco's. Now, there is a lot of unnecessary plastic packaging. I will address that uh, elephant in the room here, but because I'm doing like a vegan budget recipe, I wanted to show you that veganism is affordable and this was a pound, okay? Which I do think is cheaper than if I'd bought everything separately. So that's pretty good. So this is a pound and the tray and everything um, is recyclable. So as long as you pop it in the recycling, you know, you should be okay. But if you're vegan already or you want to cut down on your meat consumption, which is better for your wallet, is better for the environment, then I definitely think this kind of soup is perfect. So you'll need yourself some root vegetables. As I said, this one is from Tesco and it's a pound. Um, but in here, in case you want to do get the things separately, you have carrots, a parsnip, an onion, and a turnip. I'm also going to throw in this sweet potato that I've got because um, I need to use it up. And soup is actually the perfect way to use up any sort of tired, slightly old vegetables rather than throwing them away. And because I'm going to blend this soup up, you don't even have to peel it if you don't want to. So it's even better for lazy people. The only other things you're gonna need apart from your veggies are some stock. So I have one of these veggie stock pots that I'm gonna use. You can of course use a uh, Beyond powder or anything like that. If you're non-veggie or vegan, you can of course put chicken stock, beef stock, whatever you want. But obviously as I'm vegan and this recipe is vegan, I'm using a vegetable one and then you need some seasonings so i'm going to say you need some salt you need some pepper and then other things to, to give it a bit of flavor you can pretty much think about what you want at a minimum i would suggest you have some sort of curry powder so this is a mild curry powder mix from flying tiger um you could also use some garam masala if you wanted to make it even like more warm and deep for flavours. I'm also going to be using some garlic granules and some cumin. Because this is going to take me a while um, and I don't want to do it on camera, I'm going to chop everything up and then I'll get back to you when I'm ready to start putting it together. Okay, so I've got my onions <coughs> cooking in, this is a stock pot from Ikea, but you can use so of any sort of larger size um, saucepan. And then here are my veggies. So I'm actually gonna keep this carrot for another time because four carrots is just too much. That's three there. And I didn't want the carrot to overpower it. So I've got my carrots, my turnip or swede, my sweet potato and my parsnip. Um, I've kept everything fairly chunky and I've not really worried about, you know, them being too small because I am planning on blending my soup but if you are planning on keeping it chunky which is absolutely fine um, you just need to make sure that everything is kind of small and more evenly sized so yeah now I'm gonna keep cooking this so I've used just a few sprays of oil in with my onions I'm gonna keep a cup of water handy if I need to like add anything else. Okay, before I put my vegetables in, I am going to put some seasoning in. So, we're going to have, if I can find one, just a 
have to use a teaspoon. So we're going to put a teaspoon of garlic in. It doesn't matter if it's on a heat teaspoon. Uh, I'm going to put some of the garam masala in now. A teaspoon. Um, we're going to put in some of the cumin now. Salt, pepper, and curry powder. I will add another time. Let's just put a little bit more splash more water in. Okay. So, like I said, I've already been cooking the onions. So now I'm going to add my veggies to the pan. I'm going to add another splash of water kind of almost start letting them steam through a little bit. Stir it up. Put the lid on the pan. And I'm gonna do my cheap trick and pop my kettle on. So I have my stock. I'm gonna pour that in. And don't worry if like me, you were lazy and couldn't be bothered to stir until the stock had completely dissolved. That's fine. I'm just going to top it up with a bit more water straight from the kettle. Because what you want, if I show you, what you want is for most of the veggies to be covered by liquid. Okay? So now I'm gonna pop the lid back on and I'm gonna cook that um, until, like let it boil, then um, reduce the heat and you wanna cook it until the veggies are nice and soft. Um, if you are keeping it chunky, now is the time where you could throw in some things like some beans or some dried lentils or something to give it a bit of an extra protein and fiber kick. But because I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna make a smooth sort of blended curried veggie soup. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'll see you when it's been cooking for a bit. It's been cooking for quite a while. So now it's time to blend. Hopefully you won't make as much mess as me when uh, you blend your soup, but there you have it. A really nice, hearty fruit, vegetable soup. Super cheap, super easy, and super warming really. So yeah, there you have it. And you can serve it um, straight away with maybe bread or toast or something like that. Um, and if you keep it in, Sort of a sealed container like a Tupperware or something in the fridge it should keep for a couple of days you can even freeze it um just make sure you defrost it properly before you eat it so yeah thank you very much for watching let me know if you're gonna have a go at this bye